Hey guys, welcome to viewers comments number 12 and let's just jump into it. Awesome video. Take your YouTube earnings and buy a better fence for your table saw. Whoa, you guys severely overestimate the amount of money I'm making off YouTube. Should have gold leafed the numbers so they stood out a bit better. But other than that, really cool and easy design. Yeah, unfortunately I ran out of all my gold leaf when I was uh, doing that project last week for the Queen of England. I have a furniture manufacturing firm. I need a carpenter come, electrical engineer like you. Listen buddy, I'm married. I don't think you're going to get any of that from me. What name is a driver motor? The driver boards are named as follows. Mo, Larry, Curly, and Shemp. Everyone always forgets about Shemp. You need to pick up the pace. You got it. If it will kill me, does it make it weird that I want to do it more? No, the belt and the Batman costume in your closet makes it weird. Why is it the larger propeller vanes are curved the opposite direction of the smaller unit? Shouldn't the aid scoop push on the inside curve? So when you have the blades rotating like this, cupping the wind, that actually increases airflow. But when they're curved backwards like that, it increases static pressure. There's a great video by Matthias Wandel detailing this. I recommend everyone watch it. Chase that vice. Got him. What a windy day. It's raining sideways! But proper nouns are illegal in Scrabble. See, not only does proper nouns count, it's worth 23 points. Yeah, let me just grab my $3,000 table saw. I don't know why people have this impression that I have really expensive tools. That table saw was bought used off Kijiji for 200 bucks. Only thing I need to build a rustic birdhouse is $5,000 worth of tools. What, first it was a $3,000 table saw, now all my tools add up to five grand? $50,000 worth of tool to make a router table. Hey, the last guy said it was 5,000. What the hell's going on? Yeah, what if I don't have all those tools? You're screwed. Now we need to make one for lower receivers. I would have so many AR-15s, you could not even imagine. You Americans and your guns. Just an observation. You should run a bare copper wire the length of PVC as static ground. Prevents clogging of sawdust. Excellent project. Now I've answered the whole grounding the pipe thing in my viewers comments number three video previously talking about all my dust collection stuff and it, there's no need to do it. If you want to, go ahead. It's not going to hurt anything, but I'm not going to do it and many others haven't. This is an illegal shed, East Coast, Florida. Must have engineers stamped for minimum 150 to 180 miles per hour wind loading. Fantastic, buddy. I live in Ontario and I don't mean California. I would never have my baby kid in a woodworking workshop though. Not a chance. I would. Ha 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 Duke Nukem rocks. Hail to the king, baby. Your buddy is not wearing shoes in your shop, and you are wearing flip-flops. How is anyone ever going to take you serious? I don't take myself seriously. Why would you take me seriously? What is Z? N? What does N stand for? No, no, it's a Z. I am Zorro. Z for Zorro. Great project. Unfortunately, pocket holes are evil and must die. I'm going to call you out on this one, and I'm going to say no. Pocket holes are great. The Festool Domino should die because it's really expensive and they haven't sent me one for free yet. This guy eats two inch screws for breakfast. I also enjoy them as a healthy bedtime snack. But what happens when your kids exceed seven feet tall? Remember Hank's dad from King of the Hill, Cotton? He had his shins blown off. That's what I'm gonna do if my kids go above seven feet tall. You're Canadian? Now what would make you think that I'm Canadian? Eh? How to build an NES controller coffee table. Step one, have a CNC machine. Very nice work though. Step one, build a CNC. Step two, step three, profit. I love your videos, but why does it always look like you're working in your underwear? Underwear? Underwear's for chumps. <sighs> All right, guys, that does it for viewers comments number 12. Hopefully you liked it. If you didn't like it, leave me a really long comment down below detailing exactly what you didn't like, and I'll see you on the next one.